everyone this is Steve with the Steve Jackson Social Media Network uh, with some breaking news out of Florida which we reported on earlier um, the FBI has confirmed there was a second assassination attempt on the former president Donald Trump while he was playing golf at his golf course down in Florida now what we know is the shooter was nearby they're not saying he got close to the former president but he was nearby okay uh, also that there were uh, a firefight engaging the suspect by way of the Secret Service okay so the details that I'm getting is that the suspect got away people saw the suspect jump into a vehicle they were able to get his license plate number okay that was um, obviously sent to law enforcement law enforcement was able to track uh, the car and locate the car using the license plate the suspect was subsequently followed by a large law enforcement presence uh, the sheriff uh, stated that the suspect was um, overwhelmed uh, with the amount of law enforcement that were following him and taken into custody with no problem, no issue. Okay, so now I'm sure they're in the interrogation phase of that and they're trying to find out his motive and I'm sure they're going to serve a search warrant on, that, on his vehicle as well as his home to see who else was involved. I just find this very incredible that within history, this short amount of time uh, with the former president, he has had a second assassination attempt. As you know, the first uh, suspect was, um, was taken out by the Secret Service. So again, we are, we are um, monitoring this. There is another briefing coming up where they're going to lay out more details into what happened. But again, I don't know what it is with the weekends, but it just seems like the weekends bring out the worst in people with the mass shootings. And so so we are just um, staying close to the story to try to find out as more details unfold, uh, what was this suspect's motivation um, to, to do this during broad daylight, by the way. Again, second broad daylight assassination attempt on a former president. And um, there has been no details uh, released as to um, the scope and motive. So I'm sure the suspect is being um, questioned in Florida down there by the Sheriff's Department. The FBI, from my resources are telling me they have the lead on this. So again, second assassination attempt today, former President Donald Trump down in Florida playing golf. It was reported that there were shots in the vicinity of the former president and now, as we know, um, this was a assassination attempt. The suspect was able to flee the scene, but individuals uh, observed the suspect getting into a vehicle, took down the license plate number, and he was chased uh, and located uh, by law enforcement using his license plate number. Okay, and he was overwhelmed. They did what in law enforcement they call a felony traffic stop. So obviously they surrounded this vehicle with guns out, ready to go, uh, and the suspect surrendered, was taken into custody without a single shot being fired. Okay, so we don't know yet if anybody was hit because they're not obviously not provided that any casualty list. So again, this individual was shooting, shots fired in the vicinity. Um, and uh, nobody's being reported as being wounded or injured. So we do want to know where those shots go and what exactly was he shooting at, okay? And how many shots were fired. I'm sure um, that's going to come up during a briefing. How many shots did this person get off um, before the Secret Service was able to return fire? So those kind of questions are going to uh, come about um, how was this suspect able to be in the vicinity of the former president while playing golf and was able to pull out a long gun and, and even make the first shot count, okay? So again, these are the kind of questions we're going to want answers to. Was there anybody else involved? Uh, was this a last-minute decision? Was this individual planning? Um, 
this assassination all along? There's just so many questions. And most importantly, are there any other individuals out there planning an assassination attempt of any kind? So um, these are just questions. These are just questions. Um, this individual who who has already been um, taken out for the first assassination attempt, are these individuals connected? Uh, so we, we just, these are just questions. Are there more people? Um, will there be uh, an end to this? So we just have a lot of questions about what's going on, what's going on through in, in the minds of people, okay? Um, so we're just gonna wait for the briefing to happen um, once they get some more information, I'm sure later on this evening they're going to have another conference. I'll come back on and share that information with you. Please turn on my notifications on your favorite social media platform, YouTube, um, my Facebook fan page, Steve Jackson VA, TikTok, Steve Jackson VA, okay, and X, okay. So again, suspect was taken into custody, tracked down by slice of plate, he was able to get away, okay, but individuals reported a description of the vehicle, gave his license plate number. Law enforcement followed him. They did a felony traffic stop. Massive amount of law enforcement around this vehicle. The suspect got out and surrendered with no problem. All right? So, again, once they do another briefing, I'll come on with some more details. Steve Jackson, social media network. Turn on my notifications. That way, when I know, you'll be among the first to know as well.